Listen to this clip. Hopefully you can hear it. And I want you to just pay attention to what he's teaching. Now that we've already looked at this, this passage and we've looked at the verse and we look at what it says, right? Follow along with what he's saying here. Get this turned up. Matthew chapter 1. I'm going to start from the beginning. Let me, let me show you something. Go to Matthew chapter 1. It's just better to look at the book for this. Yeah, it's better to look at the book. It is better to look at the book. Amen. Always look at the book. Matthew chapter 1. Look one verse earlier than where he turns to. And an angel comes and talks to him. Can anybody guess the name of the angel? Absolutely. It was Gabriel. It wasn't Michael because he continues on. Anyway, and, and look what it says. Verse 30, 23. Behold, oh, verse 22. He gets Gabriel now, from Luke 3, or from Luke 1. The filled, which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted as God with us. Remember these words. God. So he goes and writes it on the board. He's right. Us. Remember that, like, focus on this. You know right? Focus you on Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Focus Emmanuel, on. The E-L is God. Emmanuel, you are saying God with us. This is how false prophets work. You know his name. I preached for a guy named Emmanuel in the uh, Philippines. So he's going to go on and on about Emmanuel, 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 Emmanuel. He's going to keep on so, focusing on this. Emmanuel. To distract you from so what's in the book. The angel comes to Joseph and says, Don't put away. This thing is of God, and this baby's name is going to be Emmanuel. And this baby's name is going to be Emmanuel. Did you notice that? He said, That's what the angel said. Is that what the angel said? Then Joseph, being raised from sleep, uh, from sleep, did as the angel of the Lord had bidden him, and took unto him his wife, and knew her not till she had brought forth the firstborn son, and called his name Emmanuel. Now, what's he implying right there? I mean, he called him Emmanuel. He said, Hey, He's saying that the angel told Joseph to call him Emmanuel. That is an outright lie. That is completely not true. One verse earlier explicitly tells you that he, the angel said to call his name Jesus. So what he's doing now, what he's implying now is that, well, Joseph is in rebellion to God because the angel speaking the word of God unto Joseph and he's implying that Joseph is in rebellion to God, in rebellion to the angel, and says, you know what? I'm just going to call his name Jesus. That's right, this is what gets me fired up because these guys are a bunch of phony liars. Right. This isn't a simple mistake. This isn't an oops. Right. This is a devil who hates God who hates the name of Jesus, who said Jesus is not his Messiah, that has a following that people want to just hold their ears and stop what they're seeing and just blindly accept a man that has become their friend instead of having integrity to the word of God. We'll finish this off here. Hey, you have a kid? His name's going to be Emmanuel. He says, hey, Joe, she has a baby. What do you call it? Jesus. Say what? How could that be? Real simple. God with us. The Bible says he came unto his own. And his own How could that be? He came unto his own. His own received him not. So we're saying Jesus, Joseph didn't receive Jesus, Jesus. or didn't receive Emmanuel. Called him what Jesus. Does Jesus mean? It means Jehovah saves. Oh, that's what we need, isn't it? What we need, Jehovah saves. But he never. The audacity. He's mocking what Jesus' name means. Oh, yeah, that's what we need. Jehovah saves. That is what we need. Of course.
course we need Jehovah saves. We need God with us and we need Jehovah saves. And he's a fool and he's a false prophet and no one ought to be deceived by what he's saying. And I want you to be aware and watch out for people like this because you never know where you might go and visit another church. You might be somewhere else. Who knows what's going to happen? You hear preaching somewhere. Watch out for the wicked false prophet. And you use this word of God to judge every man and every preacher and everything that you hear. Amen.